Generic greetings and welcome back to Sim Airport once again. In the previous episode, we began our foray into running a airport, and it's gone okay so far. We managed to get in all of the baggage carousels and extended the queues, things like that, as well as put some ticketing kiosks in. We then expanded security massively. In fact, we pretty much threefolded it because we needed to have that capacity, you know, the throughput, because people were stuck at the security area and then they missed their flight. So that was a huge issue, and just generally progressed on okay. All of this, or most of this, was pre-built when you start the map. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but it's actually just new game and then it's medium career mode. All of this stuff is off and stuff on the default options. So yeah, that's that as standard. Anyway, in this episode, we want to continue on, hopefully make some money. As you can see, we're currently going to get an estimated 17,000 plus a bit of change in profit, which is good, but that's not really enough. So we really need to expand our uh, gate area and just expand the facility. But I think what we'll do first is probably go for some staffing. You can see in research, You've got things like bank loans, which requires a CEO's office and researching finance. So what we're going to do, we could go for finance now. And that actually does just, you just start it going. And hopefully we'll be able to get that done, but we'll see how it, uh, how long it'll actually take. Uh, is it 12 hours? I think it was 12 hours or something like that. Or it might be in 10 hours. Either way, let's just see how that one goes. And then we will build a CEO's office. Now, I think what I'm going to do is put the CEO's office around here because we're not going to do anything around this area other than maybe perhaps expand the hangar because at the moment we've got a medium hangar, but you can actually have a, a large hangar as you can see. But, oh, actually, no, it's not, it's not any... Um, it's not any deeper. Actually, it is a little bit, but to no real effect. But it's, uh, it's it's actually wider, which is the main problem. So the CEO's office around here would work out quite well, I would uh, think. So let's just have a quick look and mouse over office. It says it needs to be fully enclosed with a door. It must have an office desk and an office chair. And it doesn't have any requirement for sizing. So what we'll do, we'll go to build, we'll go over to our foundation and we'll build like a set of offices around here and then we'll connect them up somehow to this area. So I think what I'll do, I'll have a separate, uh, oh good grief, that is getting very expensive immediately. Let's cancel that project. That is very, very expensive just to build that little bit. Um, okay, that might change things now. <laughs> good grief, it's really, really expensive, isn't it? Do we go for the CEO's office first or do we go for a cafe? Um, a cafe would be good, but I've had a lot of bugs with cafes, so it might not be in my best interest. Now, I think we'll, I think we will go along the way of the foundation stuff and uh, place the offices around here. So we'll have, we'll just have one office for the time being, and we'll place it probably around. Uh, what's that? Six by five. That should do us quite nicely. There we are, and that should be more than enough. It should be a three by four uh, office size, and we'll have a door in the centre, and then uh, we'll put loads of offices around here. And then what we'll do is we'll probably go ahead and connect it up to this area at some point. But at the moment, it's just it's a cost thing. Either way, a lot of people getting off. That's a lot of people indeed. Good grief, it's screen scrolling massively as well. Still got the random assortment of gear on, so some have got warm fur coats, some of them have got, like, tank tops on and stuff. It's just, it's a bit strange. They've all got their luggage as well, which is interesting. I would have thought most of it would have come from the baggage area. In fact, a lot of it is starting to pop out now, as you can see. And that one is just... Oh, I thought that was floating, but it's just, so, it's just someone going there. Anyway, we'll max speed it. There you are. And you can see on the uh, bank balance here, obviously, it's going down because we are spending a lot of money. But... And we've got staff wages to pay and things like that. But you can see we've just got some money as well from the Aerostar 7885, which is this thing here, which is a 767. And hopefully we'll get a lot of people boarding. In fact, uh, I would assume most of these people... Or is it already full? Let's have a quick look. We'll pause it. It's got 143 of 143 boarded. Excellent! Oh! Okay, so that means we've got a full uh, set of people on board. Don't let's put its lights on. I don't think it really needs its runway lights. And, oh, hang on, is that an airplane coming in? Uh-oh. Uh, this could cause an issue. No, it's going to land there and this one's going to go around. Yeah, so it's starting to get a little bit <laughs> jam-packed around here. There we are. And there's another one. Excellent. Right, so... Max speed again, and uh, let's see how this one goes. So, building this room here, that's actually quite a large... Is that another plane? No, it's one just taken off. Quite a large room, this one. Uh, however, they still haven't done that little bit, which I'm not... Oh, there we go, we're coming along to do it. So, we'll go over to zones and then to office, and to be honest with you, I'm guessing office is... I'm guessing the office really doesn't need to be very big at all. Uh, I don't know if... I think this might be a bit too big, you know, for the office, but... Uh, 
we'll see how it goes. We'll put a door in like so. And then you need an office desk and office chair. So, office desk. And where is the front? I think that is okay. And then a chair. We'll put the chair just in the centre there. Okay, and that should be that all sorted. Go to research, you can see 75% research for finance, and then that'll give us uh, bank loans. We've also got operations as well, which you can... Um, I don't know what it does, it is ability to hire a COO. Do we not have a COO? I don't think we do. No, you need a CFO, and then a COO. So what? I don't know what those are. Um, staff. So CFO is a chief financial officer and allows you to do research into things like loans and such. And a COO is a chief operations officer. I could probably guess that one actually, but you know. Anyway, so it looks like this baggage car is picking up some items, which is good. Still have never seen the fuel truck. Maybe the fuel truck is only used on the re on the bigger ones, perhaps. Uh, we'll mouse over this one here. This is at the top and you can see passenger satisfaction. And they have most of their needs fulfilled. It's only hunger and rest that we haven't got fulfilled. Now, I don't think we can do anything with the rest other than have just the chairs and such. I don't think that, I think that's all we can really do. However, the hunger we can fulfill probably by just putting in some vending machines. Temporarily, you understand. Temporarily. And what we'll do, we'll put like one, two, three, four. Actually, we'll put, actually, we'll cancel the center ones. Um, it didn't actually cancel the centre ones. Um, I'll cancel... Can I actually type in this box, please? Are you going to let me? Thank you. That's very nice of you, game. Right, so we're going to put these ones in the centre. And we've also got electronics vending machine, which I'm going to put in the uh, middle. So we've got two vending machines of food and one that's vending electronics. Several generic units of electronic devices. Excellent. And food, which will obviously give nourishment. Or just some cardboard in a plastic box that's full of salt and sugar and um, carbs, maybe. Uh -huh. Anyway, how are we doing for money? Uh, oh, we're not doing good at all. Uh, I should probably stop spending some money, but we will have finance done. There we go, finance is now complete rated. So we can go over to staff and we can get a CFO if we really wanted to. And allows you to research finance related upgrades such as bank loans and improved financial reporting. Well, I do want those things, uh, primarily the... Uh, <laughs> The former, I want bank loans. But what I think we can do now is have a quick look at our schedule. This is currently, oh, it's just before 12, just before midnight. You can see we've got a fair amount of flights here. By the way, can you actually cancel a flight once you've picked it up? That's something that I've never really checked. Uh, you can see all the flights here about departed and stuff. We haven't really done anything with these other than they exist. And it's like, yeah, cool. Um... The question is, ah, yes, we do have more flights that we can get. So we've got Aerostar and Starflight now. So we've got a night flight of 737, but it doesn't say... It doesn't say what time. That's the problem. What what does it mean by night? Is it now? There's no definition of it. Uh, well, that's Starflight. We've also got Aerostar, which is afternoon flights, and 777s, which we can't take. So my question is, can we cancel? Right-click to terminate this flight and remove it from your schedule. Right, okay. And there is a termination fee that will apply to that. Okay. And it does clarify there as well. Any changes made will take effect beginning tomorrow. So anything we do now, affect tomorrow. So hopefully, if we can get a night flight, a 737, we'll accept that. I'm hoping it's put it on the far left, which it hasn't. It's put it on the far right. So this is a problem. So the valid times are along there. Um, so I can only put it there. Now, can I scroll right along and get to like 3 a.m.? Is, like is that a thing? No. I don't think it is. I don't think it can go any further back. That's a that's a that's a problem. Um, right. So actually, we're gonna. Hmm. We're not gonna be able to do this properly unless we really reschedule some of this. This might cause a lot of issues here. We might have some issues with the with the um timing because these and normally we've been doing it where you've got like a 15 minute gap. So that's like 15 minutes. That's half an hour. 45 minutes, and then there's your hour. So we have it. That is really annoying, that clicky, that annoying, that, that bell and the clicky noise, that one. Hmm. Today's beverage is orange juice, by the way, with juicy bits as well, because why not? So, because these times are so close together, you know, this flight is just taking off as this is landing, we might have a cancellation or two, so we're going to have to keep an eye out on that. 
and keep an eye out on that, keep an eye out for that, and then we'll uh, go ahead and uh, probably cancel one of the flights. However, if we do that, that will affect our... Oh, look at all these flights here. I'm guessing we've just got, because we've got the CFO, we've got loads more stuff. Yeah, the Star Flight, it's, uh, oh, 6,000 per terminated flight. So if they terminate a flight, it will um, not go well for us at all. Anyway, what I want to do is see if they, yes, they are using the food machines. Look, they are using the food vendor. That's good. That's very, very... Um... Okay. Uh, I think we've got an issue with traffic, to be honest with you. I've just realised that these cars look very, very similar to, like, original GTA stuff. Yeah, that's a lot of problems. There we go. There's the other cars that are coming through. That was because of the garbage, you know. Um, I think I will... Is it Workman? No. Janitors are the ones that move garbage, one would assume. It says... I know it sweeps garbage. I don't know if it moves it. Anyway, so we've got our check-in stuff. For some reason, everybody's going here, and there's nobody at the ticketing desk. Let's just go to staff and hire another staff. Two more staff, even. But nobody's there. Uh, it is assigned, the ticketing desk, to this queue. Uh, let's have a quick look at the queue, at said queue. Queues, it is all in there. For some reason, however, it's not... I'll unassign it, and then I'll reassign it. For some reason, it's not getting staffed. People are not going to that one, and I don't know why. There is, however, a lot of people using these vending machines, which is very good. I think I'm going to put some more vending machines in, because look at that, I've just got vending machine income. Very difficult to see. Uh, two, eight, plus a bit of change. Excellent. Uh, how much was that? 285. And even more, look, it's it's going up. Excellent. That's, exa that's what we want. Right, so... Uh, looks like the issue with the staffing has resolved itself. Someone is now staffing this. God, that guy loves his job, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. I love working in the first class ticket office. He's great. <laughs> Bounds to work in the morning, he does. The psycho. Right, so there's our one of the plane taking off. It's fine. Bank balance is hovering about the place, which is not good. Uh, overall, well, total, it seems says total for expenditure estimated 20 grand. So this is just a case of we have to wait a little bit now for uh, money to sort of roll in. And here's another plane coming down. There you go. And we got a nice bit of money there for these. These Boeing 767s are really paying the wages. By the way, I know I haven't got the same flooring in here, and I would love to do that. However, it's going to cost more money than I have currently, and I don't think that is a good thing for us to spend all the money on the flooring. And there's all people picking baggage up on that one for some reason. It doesn't seem to go to, like, either one. Uh, sorry, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to, like, go on both. It seems to just pick one, which is strange. Alpha game is alpha. I'll be saying that a lot. Good grief, people really, 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 really like these food vending machines. I think we need a little bit of a change up with these vending machines. Um, right, okay. Uh, oh, the, oh, they're all arguing. They're all, why they're all arguing? Why are they all arguing? I think because they couldn't use the vending machines? Is that it? Is that what it was? Well, they've just been picked up, so... I don't know what that would have been. That was strange. It seems to be people are coming out of the ticketing office, getting some food, but not going through security. Look, they're standing around here, which is interesting. How, did they miss their flight because of the, because they were spending too much time over there? I don't know. Anyway, let's just quick have a quick look at schedule. This is the six to eight flight. Now what I need to do is wait until it is just before 8 o'clock because I want to see if they cancel the flight and if they do I'll have to cancel star flight um, and then move up aero time because it's just not working out for me. And it's 8 o'clock. We have not yet had a plane come in. Hang on. Uh, have I missed something here? Aero 
Showtime 1276. What's that one? That's a Boeing 767. It's got 10 minutes left. Why is it over the yard? It's, it's nearly 10 o'clock. Is that... It must be this one then. Surely. Well, there's the other plane. I don't know. Looking at that, you can see there's no cancellation listed. So I don't know what that was about. I think that glitched out a little bit there. That was strange. Very strange indeed. Anyway, uh, we want to go to research and we do want to get bank loans, but it's... Um, that says 16,000. It says... And then there's a slash 18 hours required. Is that 6,000 per... Uh, over 18 hours? No, it must be over 18 hours. Not 6 grand per hour. Or per, per 18 hours? Yeah, does that, that, that symbol really is confusing. Anyway. There's a flight gone. There's a runway usage. And I think we did glitch that flight out, you know. I think we might have to have a bit of a mess around. It says cash flow estimates. The estimate seems well off. Yeah, it does seem a bit off to me. I mean, we've run through a day and we've I haven't done anything. Yet, I haven't got nowhere near the money that it's uh, told me. In fact, I am losing money quite a bit here. I've probably got too many staff, but I can't really manage it because I don't know how much is required. Is there something in research that... Give me that, I don't know. I'm going to go for bank loans, by the way, because I think it's something we are going to have to do. There's a lot of people charging out of that flight. This is the morning flight. So, what is the solution? Well, go for bank loans, see what happens there. Is that a golf cart? It is a golf cart. Why are they using golf carts to transport the baggage? That's wrong. Conveyor lines are oh, not all presently correct. That's why I didn't connect up that. Or oh, why are they shouting ARG as well? They've just come in and they're shouting ARG. That's interesting. Yeah, I messed that one up. I, I forgot to connect up the... They conveyor there, so now we've got baggage properly going from first class. So that's okay. That's good. Um, I don't think there'll be a problem elsewhere, but we'll see how it goes. Um, there's been a couple of questions from last video, and people have said, can you build, can you expand the the areas, like left, right, up, down? As far as I'm aware, no, you can't. Uh, you have got things like upgraded buses, um, uh, road building, things like that, but you don't have the ability to expand. You can obviously start a new map and start it on a bigger map, but why, why are they really unhappy? I don't know. Uh, why are they shouting arg, look? They're shouting arg and then walking off. Maybe they've just missed their flight, I don't know. Is it a ticketing problem? It might be a ticketing problem. Uh, what I'll do is go for more ticketing kiosks, because there does seem to be a lot of people standing around. Oh, I'll say, I'll say, I'll get one because, well, there we go. We'll get two more. There seems to be a lot of people standing around there. Obviously, you don't want to really piss off people, but it doesn't really affect. Well, it doesn't affect at all, really. Your um doesn't affect your overall reputation, as it were, because that doesn't exist. <laughs> As far as I can tell. Right, so still three grand. It's still the estimate's still way off, I think. I'm going to I just need to check one thing. One, two, three. Four staff is what we should really have. Is it four staff? And uh, what mm, I think it is just four staff. But we've got eight staff, so we don't need that many staff. So we can get some firing going here. Fire minus 900. Why does it cost to fire some staff? That is interesting. With severance pay, maybe? I don't really know. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm just trying to figure out where to streamline our, our money making. Because at the moment, we're really struggling with cash. We haven't gone... I don't think we're going to go out of business. But we do need some flights that are... We need some more flights, essentially. And we need to alter this schedule. So, 
let's go and see what sort of flights we can get aero time. That's a morning, and that's an Embla 195. And that's 90 passengers maximum. That's not too bad. That's... Um, 2,500 per scheduled flight. I want to look for something that's very, very expensive. That's a 777, which we can't have for uh, Rexicana. Uh, this one is very, very nice. Actually, look at this. It's a Galactic Point and very, very nice looking planes as well. That's an Airbus A380. 525 passengers. And yeah, I can't accept that one at all. A Ford, uh, there's nothing there. Pacific Airlines, there's one Beechcraft in the morn, but I uh, don't think we'll go for that one. Starflight has a morning. Uh, 195, which is 90 passengers, and then Aero Star. We've got a morning flight, another 195. And out of those two, the one that pays the most is Aero Star, so we're, oh, requires a large gate. So I'm guessing it's going to be Star Flight. So we'll accept that, and I'm hoping it's very, very morning. And it isn't. Hang on. Which was the one we accepted? Star flight acceptance bonus. So, star flight. Is it that one there? I think it is. And we can bring it right down. The question is, could we stagger these so... Yes, like that. Okay. Slightly altered the flight times. With them being so close, this might give us a little bit of a problem, but we'll see... How it is. I would love another airplane gate. Another airplane gate would solve most of our issues. Problem is we don't have the money for it, which is why I am researching um, the bank loans, because hopefully we get a bank loan, and that'll help us out. So there's a one just landed, and that one's just taken off, because they will sit on the taxiway. There's no problem there. And as far as I can tell, there's nothing being cancelled. Nothing's ever popped up and said we've, you know, we've cancelled a flight, which is good. So how much is a gate? Let's have a quick look. Uh, oh, it's very expensive indeed. There's another one landed. So the, yeah, the, the ha having these very close to each other. This is at night time here. You can see these are all landing and taking off fine now, as far as I can tell. Is that Starflight? It doesn't tell me. It just says Boeing 767. Don't know. I'm guessing it will be. Yeah, that'll have been the last one. So there was three of those, and they happily worked. That's good. That's fine. So, uh, do we need more vending machines? There was people standing around the vending machines. Having maybe a row of them, a row of them is the way to go. Sadly, you can only destroy them, which is a bit of a nightmare, but whatever. Um, we'll go back to vending. And we will have... One, two... Three, four, five, six, and the reason we didn't pay for the others is because we already had some of them. And then we'll go over to our vending once more, I guess, and then put an electronics vending machine in... Oh, well, I would put it here, but we don't have the cash. But you can see there, actually, that's being used a lot more now. And what I'm going to do is have it so we'll have this here, and then inside there we'll have, a, um, we'll have like, plants and such, so it actually makes a nice... It'll project a nice... Um, a nice aura of calmness and happiness and serenity. He says, well, any degree of confidence. And I would love to place... Mm, which one of these ones? There we go. Decorative bushes all the way around. Excellent. So that should hopefully help out somewhat. So electronics, um, if you think about what electronics vending machines, what they are is, I would assume, I've only been on... I, I'm, not, I'm not a good traveller, at all. Uh, and I've only been on an aeroplane once in my life. And um, the thing is, the... Like, the electric... And, and I don't I don't frequent airports, for obvious reasons, because of that. But... Why is that guy pissed off? I do not know. Anyway, uh, the electronics vending machine will be things like... Um, plug adapters. So if you're going to, uh, say, the UK to uh, the United States, obviously we use the British 3-pin plug. A fantastic device, excellent, good safety, all that sort of thing. Going to America, eh, they use 2-pin. No earth pin on it, as far as I'm aware, it's just live and neutral. But it's a 2-pin plug. Um, 
So obviously you need an adapter, so you can buy the adapters there for many, many pounds, I'm guessing. Probably about 50 quid, maybe, <laughs> from that vending machine. I, they will be overpriced. You can guarantee that any electronics bought from there will be overpriced, because if the fact is, if you've walked in here and you forgot it, you don't really have an option, do you? <laughs> and it's things like headphones and stuff like that, you know. So anyway, um, according to this, we now have um, we now have bank loans completed. Uh, so we can go to... Uh, let's have a quick look. Pricing, maybe? Where would bank loans be? Maybe clicking on this? Uh, yes, we can. We can increase our, increase and decrease our loan. So current maximum loan is 100000 So we could get a loan out to expand the gate. Uh, in terms of pricing, we haven't um, got a way to alter the uh, runway prices, which is a bit of a shame, but hey-ho. Uh, in terms of reports, we haven't looked at them. We've also got, we've got an info heat map, which shows you... Uh... uh Nothing. Yep, doesn't look like there's anything. Uh, you've got your environment heat map, which apparently this is red, and I don't know why. And this is red. I'm guessing red is good because of the plants. It must be, yes. Blue must be bad because of rubbish, and red must be good. Which I would say the opposite, but whatever. And then you've got secure area, which you can see red is not secure, and then green is. And obviously, I've mentioned previously about this area having to be secure. Anyway, uh, just check again. We've got no cancelled flights, so these are all coming in quite nicely. So actually, I'm happy with our distribution. What we probably need is another flight in the afternoon, because we've got a bit of a, bit of a gap here that we can probably plug. We can do that and then put one thing in there. So we'll pause it a second, go over to our flights and go have a quick look at Aero Time. That's a morning flight. We've got Rexia Kana, afternoon 777. We can't accept that. Galactic Point, we can see we've got several afternoon flights. Uh, actually, I'm lying. We've got one afternoon flight, which is a 747. And 747 we can't accept because it requires a larger gate. So we'll move on. A four day, we've got nothing there. Pacific Airlines is a morning flight only. Star flight, there is an afternoon on a 737, which is 140 passengers. And then finally, we have Aero Star, which has got an afternoon flight of a 777, so we can't have that. So we'll go for Star flight, accept that, go over to schedule, and then we'll just put it in there. Job done. Yep, so essentially. Apart from midnight to 3 a.m., we are completely booked out. Oh, no, no, we've got noon 1, which actually, we can now fit another one in the afternoon. Excellent. There's no point in these uh, areas not having planes in there. You want planes. 26 grand is our estimated profit for the next couple of days. That is most good. These vending machines are getting usage. As you can see, we've got $40 from the vending machine. Uh, lots of runway usage. Yeah. This is generally working out. What? Who's that, by the way? That's a ramp agent, right? One of the things I wanted to do is check to see who drives the baggage car. Was it staff or does it come with its own staffing? And it does come with its own staffing. So the price you have here, uh, where it says add and it shows you so much hourly, that includes the staff that operate it. Which is strange because apparently uh, the staff get 30, uh, 30 generic units of currency hourly, whereas the truck, full maintenance and the person involved to um, uh, drive it is only $5. So if I was their union, I would really not be doing a very good job. <laughs> anyway, we are going to leave it there. Not a bad episode. It's been more uh, subsistence as in let's not go bankrupt, but we've got the CEO's office. We've got some good research done. We've got these vending machines put in, which is very, very good, and I think that's helped us out. And now our bank balance is going up at a fairly... A fairly... I wouldn't say sustainable rate, because we can't really spend loads of stuff, but... And also, saying sustainable rate doesn't make any sense at all now that I think about it. Uh, essentially, it's going up at a rate that we can... Uh, start spending without fear of going bankrupt immediately. Also, we've got that problem with the garbage again. Who moves the garbage? It is... Oh, the labourer. Right, so actually a labourer is the one that moves the garbage, which is why we have a massive problem with this as soon as the garbage truck comes along. <laughs> I was wondering why. Yes, so what we will do um, is next episode we will go ahead and go for, I would like to say, God, look at all the people coming in and out. I would like to say we'll go for, that is a lot of people. 
I'd like to say we go for another gate, but don't know if that's going to happen. Um, we'll have to see. Oh god, it's all beeping. They're all beeping again. Yeah, we'll have to see. That guy is using a laptop. Does he? Has he just bought it from the vending machine? Because that's one expensive laptop, and ah, uh, we got a problem with security. Yeah, look, security ain't big enough. Can you see this? Security is just not big enough. People are missing their flights. Look at all the flights that they've missed. There's loads of people. That's not good. We'll have to resolve that probably by making more security. Oh well. We'll see how it goes then. Right, gonna leave it there. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.